My name is Marilyn Gelfman Karp. In 1958, when I was a 19-year-old student at Hunter College, I agreed to assist Richard Lippold in the installation of his sculpture in the grill room of the Four Seasons restaurant in the newly erected Mies van der Rohe Philip Johnson Seagram building. Richard's works were always bound to their physical space. This building was to be dedicated to the architectural integration and exhibition of bespoke art, the best of its time. Le Tricorne, Picasso's theatrical backdrop for the Ballet Russe, occupied the space between the grill room and the fountain room, for which Mark Rothko had been commissioned to paint four large paintings. The completion of numerous art installations kept a pace with our installation of Richard's bronze rod and stainless steel wire sculpture. I was his assistant for most of his New York City commissions. In 1989, the restaurant's interior was landmarked by New York City Landmark Commission. This was quite a different story from the installation of Richard Lippold's Orpheus and Apollo at Lincoln Center, then Avery Fisher Philharmonic Hall, with which I also assisted. In October 1963, Calvin Tompkins wrote a complete profile on the installation of this work in the New Yorker magazine as we were installing it. The fraught interior construction of the building, racing for completion deadlines, was going on at the same time as we were working 50 feet above to install. The Structural Bridge and Ornamental Iron Workers Union was pressuring to do the installation, and after fierce negotiations, we prevailed and were made honorary members of the union. I was given a brother Marilyn label for my hard hat. We all made our deadlines by working round the clock. When Philharmonic Hall opened, the main lobby was defined by rich satiny Munz metal sheets of brass alloy and glistening stainless steel cable. Orpheus and Apollo were perfectly balanced in symbiotic relationship with the architecture, as wedded as the sculptures of Shark Cathedral are to that building. The sculpture elevated and fulfilled the interior architecture. It made the space tangible, coherent, and vibrant. It enabled singular human engagement with this space. What would the cultural loss be to succeeding generations of Chart Cathedral visitors without its sculptures? The loss of Orpheus and Apollo would be a comparable loss. Whether or not the work should be reinstalled is not the question. Whether or not it can be reinstalled is the question. Because Richard Lippold's works are always part of the architecture, supported by it and wholly dependent on it, they do not have form without the building. Right now, this sculpture is just a bunch of metal plates and cables. How has it been stored? Were parts numbered and carefully wrapped? Was a video made while taking it down? As the last man standing, who was there and installed the work, Richard died in 2002, I will say that reinstallation depends upon whether or not the work was responsibly disassembled. Was some record made of the process of disassembly? Did the Lincoln Center archive or the architects retain the blueprints from which we installed? After the model was shown to the architects, Harrison and Abramovitz, it was exhibited at the Willard Gallery to unanimous acclamation. Jean Lippmann purchased the model. If all else fails, locating the model could be a start. Every effort should be made to save this work.